Hi everyone, today I want to talk about these um, drive systems for scooters, uh, commonly known as variators. And the thing is, although there's a lot of videos about how to actually fit these um, variators, they very seldom show you how to test whether they are in good working order or not. So you got to the point where you've taken your variator out all you can do is really look at the variator and say to yourself, well, is it good or is it bad? And it's very hard to make a judgment call on that just by literally looking at the thing uh, because you have no comparison. So I thought this would be a good chance just to show you as we're going through a variator install to let you see what the differences are between a good and a bad variator and the most common things you would need to check to make sure it is working fine. Now normally with a variator, when you start getting troubles, you'll notice that pickup is uh, probably a little bit juddery. It just doesn't feel smooth anymore, and 99% of the time it's going to be this variator that needs to be changed. So this is the old one, and as you can see, it's very nicely stepped in different places where it's had obvious wear. Now if we compare that to a new variator, I think you can see both of them there together, hopefully you can see both of those you can see that this is super smooth. Now this is really important because the belt has to drive up this. And if it's stepped, as in this case, it's gonna be trying to climb over humps all of the time. And that's really makes for an uncomfortable drive. So that's one part of it. The other part, which has all of the, uh, the weights, which you will by this time probably know all about, is the opposing face. And as you can see here, looking at these two, you can see just how bad this one is compared to the other. So it's fairly critical. If this is showing any signs of wear, it's really worth just getting rid of it and replacing it. They're not overly expensive. I wouldn't muck about trying to sand it down or do anything like that. I know some people uh, run a sander over them and, and make them semi-smooth again, but it's not the best course. And also you need to inspect very carefully the back because if you look here where all of the uh, roller weights go into, you also need to check these ramps. If you look here, these ramps can start looking a little bit scored, a little bit untidy. Again, it's another sign that things are wearing out and not good. Whereas if you look at a brand new assembly, you can see how nice and clean that all is. These ramparts basically these have to roll up and down on this um, carriage and if it can't throw those out cleanly then you're going to start having problems so really that's uh, just checking one variator against another the other thing you want to check for is the shape of your um, actual roller weights themselves now i don't know if the camera can pick this up where you can see it but there are some horrible marks in this one and if i can uh, demonstrate that to you. Here is the old one that came out and here is the new one. The old, the old one stays where, it, so it stays where it is. It's on a sheet of glass. It just stays still because it's full of little cam marks on it where it's just worn out. Um, now, if they can't throw out cleanly in this cage, if they can't throw out cleanly, then you have a problem. So, that will tell you pretty much how bad your units are. If they sit on a piece of glass and there's a slight angle to that glass and it stays still, or you roll it, you can probably hear it's quite noisy. It's because it's camming over each of the bad marks. They need to be replaced. Now it's kind of important that you make sure you get the right weight of these rollers because the rollers can decide how quick off the mark the bike may or may not be. These are really important that you get the weight right because if these are very heavy, or in this case, these ones are 15 grams each, then with a small amount of throttle, they'll centrifugally be thrown out in the cage, which will adjust these two items, okay? This is what's governing that. If you go for a very light one, it means that this will spin a lot, lot faster, so there's a lot more engine revs before it throws out and engages, which means you're getting uh, the motorbike or scooter onto peak power before this will take off. 
Now it makes for quite a quick getaway sometimes, but it is not really the most relaxed sort of driving. After a while, it can become tedious. If you want to race everywhere, then it's fine, go for it. But if it's just normal cruising around, have a slightly heavier weight in it, it means it'll pull away at low revs and be perfect. So think carefully about those, important piece. Also you need to check these little fellas. Now in this one, they rattle around. This is the old one. They wear on the edges. I don't think the camera can pick that up, but they wear on the edges, they wear on the metal. And after a while that becomes a very loose mechanism and actually rattles a little bit inside the frame. With one which is correct, these are tight. You can feel they're tight. That means less rattling, nothing's going wrong, it's all super, super tight. That makes for a comfortable ride. This of course has to slide up and down in here. I'm not going to explain all this because when you get to it yourself, this video will make sense. But this has to slide up and down and not twist from side to side when it's located on these pickups. Okay. So I would think the best thing to do is if you can, if you're going to take the trouble of getting the casing off to do this job, I would make sure that you replace a whole lot if there's any doubt. In the UK, if that's where you're uh, listening to me from, then you can buy these variator kits from as low as £40. This is actually is an aftermarket variator kit, but it's quite a, a simple thing really, so it's not rocket science to have them remade at lower price than the normal, sorry about that, than normal price for um, a genuine part, let's say for a Piaggio or a Honda or, or whatever it like it is. So it's fine. I think you can go ahead and buy that with confidence and uh, it could save you quite a consider considerable amount of money. So worth considering. Uh, if I have any doubts after the final assembly of this whole system in the bike, which is going to go in in the next few minutes, then I will report back to you and let you know. So there you are. That's the difference between an old variator and a new variator.